Morning, Morning everyone. Hi. Right, you join us on day eight, seven, eight. Oh, I don't know. Lose track of time, but you join us on a day. Um, so today we're going to Magic Kingdom. Olive wants to say hello. Hi. Hiya. Oh, look at this truck that you got yesterday from the outlets from the Disney discount shop. So the plan is today we're going to Magic Kingdom. So we're having a bit of a later start. It's uh, 20 to 11. So we've been for a Danny's breakfast this morning, but we've not filmed that because it's essentially identical to what we did the other day. Uh, we're just chilling out and eating that. But of course, it was absolutely delicious. Yeah. Yeah. So you might notice we've got Magic Kingdom planned, but we've parked at Disney Springs because the plan is to visit here after Magic Kingdom. So it's good to have the car here for us. So it's really quiet in the parking garage. So it's a Thursday. And a top tip, if you get in the bus anywhere straight from Disney Springs, come to the parking garage, Orange, um, and L2, so row two and row one, are gonna get you closest to security. So we've literally parked here, and security checkpoint is there. So you get through super quick if you do that. And then the bus station is just at the bottom of the escalators and to the right, next to Planet Hollywood. So you get as few steps in as possible, but it's not what we need after that huge breakfast. So we'll get through security and we'll see you on the bus. We've had a bit of a change of plan. <laughs> We're always changing our plans. Well, this is the beauty of a Florida holiday. You can just do what you want. So we were just looking out for, God, doesn't Disney Springs look good now? It's really quiet, so we're going to have all around Disney Springs before we head over to Magic Kingdom. It's while it's not busy. Yeah. Oliver wants to check out the Coca-Cola shop. We've never been in there before, I think. Well, certainly not any higher than the first floor. So there's a rooftop bar here, a beverage bar on the rooftop. Floats, mocktails, photo opportunities, around the world stuff. So if you're a huge Coke fan, if you're a Cokehead, <laughs> this is your place. <laughs> of course you can. It's our video. Go okay, look if you want some Coke stickers, Coke glasses. What's that? Coke magnet. Well, that's actually quite cool. Oh my gosh! Oh, there's a Wow. So this is how you get to the top floor in the coke shop. I don't think you have to run though, if you don't want to. Quick! <laughs> Quick! The polar, Quick. Now. Ooh, the polar bear might be at the top. Oh, oh, oh. it's a nice view. Don't, don't, oh. Take the lift. <laughs> well, you don't have to take the lift, just don't run. <laughs> don't need to run. Oh, what holiday. So this is the rooftop bar, the Coca Cola store. How gorgeous is this? It's the first time we've been up here. And of course, Oliver's had a toy. It's a spoiled boy. I can't help that holiday. To all sorts of Cokes from around the world. Costa coffee as well. Glass bottles, energy drinks, juice, milk, snacks, souvenir cups, mocktails. Wow, it's all go. So good, the staff are drinking it as well. Got the freestyle machines. Just some incredible views as well, look at this. Balloons up. So we've got ourselves a freestyle cup to use the machines. That's $4. So you get five recharges on these. So you can stick the cup on, it's got a chip in. And we've got two more. Whatever you do, don't let your finger off the button because if you try and press it again, you need to use another credit. So when it fizzes off, you've just got to let it go over the top, unlike what I just did. But so we'll go, we've, we've tried a strawberry powerade, which is really nice with fruit, fruit punch as well. And then loads of people have got these um, floats as well, so you can try all different flavours of Cokes and stuff is really cool so it's like you get a bit of a you get two trays stacked on top of each other full of different flavors of coke to try which we might try next time we come 
an hour full of, full of our uh, freestyle drinks. <laughs> so we've just found a little card for the uh, Taste of the World tray. You get two trays, 16 drinks, and that's priced at $16, which I didn't think was too bad. So perhaps one to try next time. I think we're ready to move on now. Go! What? <laughs> There's a load of good shops at Disney Springs. They're not always the cheapest though. Yeah, of course. There's a lot of good brands, but if you're looking for bargains, you're going to be better at the premium outlets and the outlet stores that are dotted around Orlando. But it's really lovely to grab the odd item here because there are some great shops. So I'm not sure if anyone watching is into running, but um, Disney Springs you've got fit to run at the store and I've just done the gait analysis, so you run on the treadmill, someone films you on a tablet and gives you some tips and advice about what shoe to get. So just done that, she told me sort of my right ankle is a bit more sort of edged in the left, so she recommended some specific shoes to help with that. Um, and I'm quite heel led as well, so she recommends uh, getting one with good pan on the heels decent. So. Just a bit of a tip there, if you're into running. You wouldn't think I would, judging by the size of me, but <laughs> I've been trying to lose a bit of weight for this holiday. Now we're going to head over to either the Grand Floridian or Contemporary. So there's the buses, 7 or 9 for us. It's just worth noting, you can't get buses from Disney Springs directly to the parks. You've got to stop off at a resort and then ever get another bus, the monorail, or the cable car or boat, or you've got to walk. So the Contemporary is definitely walkable from the, from the hotel to the entrance of Magic Kingdom. Grand Floridian is a little further, so it's probably worth jumping on the monorail. So we're just waiting for our bus. In the theme of our holiday so far, change of plans. That's the motto here. Spontaneous days. Just be spontaneous and have fun. So we've jumped off the bus. At Wilderness Lodge because they've got a water taxi friendship boat. I think we've it's never called. been here before, it's one that we've always wanted to have a look around. Yeah, so we thought, why not? The bus was going dropping off people at this hotel before the contemporary, so we thought we'd hop off. Yeah, see smooth. what the water taxi is like. We'll have a look at the hotel, it. maybe one for the future. Definitely, yeah, we're gonna go look inside because it look looks beautiful. Look. Stunning so far, this is. We've only ever seen pictures and video of this, so excited to go look at it. Yeah. Then once we've had a little explore, we'll grab the water taxi over to Magic Kingdom. Wow. How cool is this lobby? Goodness me. Whispering, Whispering Canyon Cafe, behind you. Whispering Canyon Cafe, oh yeah. A little bit controversial to say, I think this lobby is actually cooler than the Animal Kingdom Lodge lobby. It's a lot taller. Nice little carving statue things like totem pole. Got a fire over in the corner. Katie's found a seat. There's a game arcade in Cubs Den. So in that right hand corner there's a load of other stuff. Boulder Ridge, Villas, Health Club. And then you've got the gift shop in there, Mercantile. Wow, look how stunning it is. This is the back of the lobby, you come down the little slope and you met with these gorgeous waterfalls. And you've got the pool area as well. So we'll just have a little little peek over here. So the pools are for guests only, so you've got to have a uh, reservation at the hotel. You can't just pop in, you're not meant to. You can see all the Lounges, I think there's a little slide on the other side as well. Here's a little kiddie splash pot. Copper Creek Springs, this pool's called. So, located just beyond the pool and down along this sort of dock area is the Mermaid Friendship transportation boat. I think it's, I keep calling it Friendship, I'm not sure, but. It's the water taxi to Magic Kingdom from Wilderness Lodge. We made it on the boat. 
I headed over to Magic Kingdom. And you don't have to fold down your push chairs on this transport as well, which is amazing. But you don't have to be a uh, hotel guest or anything like that to use this transportation, just rock up and go. We made it into the Magic Kingdom. We just had to bribe Oliver to have a photo of the sticker. <laughs> Such a challenge getting him to take photos. But um, the French, the, the boat, I keep calling it the friendship boat, I'm not sure if it is, is it? Friendship yeah. boat? It is. So it drops off right in front of the, the main gate and it's got its own little security checkpoint. So we rock through there, had a couple of photographs and now we're on Main Street USA. Still a glorious sunny day. Super hot, but I'm well up for that. Just a little tip as well that we've learned, just, is that there's a, a lightning lane for the parade viewing as well. So there's a whole reserved area if you book yourself a lightning lane and you get a prime view of the parade right in front of the castle. We've headed over to Liberty Square. And I think we're gonna have a little go on Haunted Mansion again. We enjoyed that last time. That's some great air con because it's very, very hot. Oh, the hair's gone back. <laughs> <laughs> Means we're serious business. Yeah, and it's a scorcher again, which we always vowed because we came in February uh, la uh, two years ago and it was absolutely freezing, freezing pretty much for the whole of the 10 days Coats, over here. Scarves, the works. You name it. Oh, goodness me. And I made a personal vow that I would never complain about the heat again at Disney because of that holiday. I haven't, I'm just loving the scorching heat. So, gonna ride the paddle boat at some point as well. Uh, most rides, you, you've got to park up your stroller nearby, so I want to mention the closest one is opposite, next to uh, the Harbour House. Or is it your imagination? And consider this dismaying observation. Here are the dune buggies. You can see three people, well, two adults and probably a child. I know, it's filthy. Give it a clean, Disney. These are funny little things, these busts. Follow you around the hall. Katie's highlights. What we say is the third clock. I can't really see it, but it's just it's like two poos instead of uh, <laughs> clock hands. Wherever they're at. Rap on a table. It's time to respond. Send us a message from somewhere beyond. Mansion and now we're having a little picnic in the harbour house. So we do So we do buy Disney food and we love it. But to do that every day if not on a dining plan is very expensive. So some days we'll bring stuff. If I brought from Walmart or brought from home. So like we did an Aldi shop a load of bits. Put our own sweeties, yogurts, sandwiches, and good old custard creams. She can spend an absolute fortune otherwise. Sometimes it's nice to have a few uh, comfort snacks on home. She's yogurt! <laughs> 
You know me? The yogurt's from Walmart and they're well expensive. Just FYI. Shug's kicking in, someone's excited because we're going on. Big Thunder! Although we got a bit done because my Disney experience it was 15 minutes and we've walked over and it's gone to 35 so I think everyone's spotted that and had the same idea but all of wants to go on it so we'll commit Camera, tell the camera what your favourite bit about that ride was. Wow! <laughs> Did you like that ride then? Oh, is it very exciting that ride? Oh, it was. <laughs> Next up is Pirates of the Caribbean. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. We asked for the fun road for a better view, but we ended up getting soaked on the way down. We just saw that they're boarding the tiki room, the enchanted tiki room, so hopefully we can make it just in time. We made the show, in we go to the enchanted tiki room. In the tiki 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 room. Alright, next up is Jungle Cruise. Jungle, 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 jungle cruise. Let's head on in. Nice standby on the right. There we go. Number one, please do not at any point during my cruise fall in love with me. We're gonna be stuck together for a while, so don't make it weird. And number two, no eating, drinking, smoking in my boat, not that kind of Disney cruise. Number three, that's a python. You know how I can tell that's a python and not a boa? These boas have feathers. Entering the Nile River, the Nile River's the longest river in Africa. It goes for Niles and 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 Niles. And if you don't believe me, well, you're in denial. Okay? Yeah. Here, look. Here, those are trees. Yeah. Ah, look at that pride of lions looking over that sleeping stripey horse. 
Yeah, Civic's dead. Tired. Dead tired. Don't worry. I wonder what's going through a head right now. A T. Probably. But this radio is the fastest land animal in the world. Great, right? So fun fact about humans, they can't, you know, I remember my first translate some for you guys, okay? So we just picked up some cheeseburger spring rolls from the cart in front of the entrance to Adventureland. So let's have a quick look at these beauties. Let's see, got some burger sauce. Big Mac sauce. Yeah, Big Mac sauce. And then here they are. So you get two. So there was a book on me. They were nine dollars fifty for two. So it's quite pricey. Quite pricey. Quite thick. Famous. Famous. We're going to give them a go. We've never tried them before. Like a snack. Right, so I'm going to try one of the cheeseburger spring rolls. Hello! Yeah, excuse me, because this is the first time I'm showing myself eating something, so I don't know if this is going to be disgusting or not. <laughs> right. Oh, going the wrong way. Oh, yeah. Right, mm. It's nice. Oh, nice. You have to take the, the pickles in it. Oh, yeah, I've got the sauce. Oh, show me. Definitely tastes like a cheeseburger. Is it? Yeah, pickles in as well. That pickles. Mm. Nice. Film you. Yeah. Right, what's the verdict of yours? Oh, they're lovely. So nice. Oh, sauce is nice. Isn't I feel it? like it's too much sauce for the spring rolls. You need another spring roll. Take a picture, my I mean, for the price, you need okay. about three or four. Definitely. 9.50 for two is a lot. Look. Well, wants to show us the apple. Back a bit. So, well, look, you're eating it. Have a bite of it on camera then. Good boy. Healthy snack for Oliver. After those little snacks, we're going to head over to the barnstormer now. Fire the castle again. Don't get bored of looking at that. One more. Stop for a quick water break at Cosmic Rays and Oliver wanted to listen to our mate Sunny Eclipse do his thing. Next up is some Barnstormer action, or as Oliver calls it, the Farnstormer. We're on Oliver's favourite on the Barnstormer. Hi everybody! Whoa, it's sunny! We're going to do the big, big drop. This is now the third or fourth time we've been on during the holidays. Oliver absolutely loves this. So here we go! Whoa! Oliver's just made a friend from Alabama in the queue for dirt, goofy ride. And next up, we're going to hit Dumbo for a 20 minute wait. Here we go, Oliver. Higher, higher! Up we go, where's Mummy? Oh, Mummy's well above us. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> you see Mummy behind us? <laughs> oh, it's so high! Our next ride is going to be Mad Hatter's Teacups. I've not been on this one yet during our this holiday. <laughs> We're not 
Looking at another ride, one of Oliver's favourites and our favourites too. It's the People Mover. It's a walk on. It's a walk on. Happy days. Getting loads of today. A few times are really good. That's why we just love this time of year after spring break, after Easter, and smash the box. Inspired at Epcot and a lot of the visionary ideas throughout Walt Disney World. Look, there's even a tiny people mover. I wonder if that means there's a tiny boring. Done, everyone. Yeah. They won. They won. Oh, Good job. Oh. Good job. Oh, Oliver, did they win the piston oh, cup? Oh. Oh. Lights are on the Space Mountain. It's closed at the minute. Wow, that's rare. Wow, this is very rare. Full lights on Space Mountain. Wow. It's very intimidating with the lights on actually. Hey, cheeky little camera. We're going on Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor. Oh, hi again, it's our friends. <laughs> Bumped into our friends from Alabama again. Time for Laughing Floor. It's not by 10 minutes, just the show time. I feel like for a late start today we're on an absolute ride spree. The queue time has been fantastic. So like we've just timed it really well with the Monsters Inc. show. We walked straight in just as we were about to let everyone in. People move us a walk on. So we've done fantastic. So we're just going to hit up Buzz and then we're going to see how we do, whether we stay or do more rides. So yeah, it's been a long day. We're getting up to half seven now. Look at that big long shadow. That means it's late in the day. Whoa! So we've just decided in the queue that Buzz is going to be our last ride of the day. So it's getting late. Got an early start tomorrow, Rainforest Cafe Reservation Animal Kingdom. So we don't want to be too late home and all will be tired tomorrow. We're going to go in two separate uh, Ranger cars this time, Katie and Oliver and then me. So we'll see who gets the highest score. So I might just have to see you on the other end so I can concentrate on blasting my way to the top. There they are. Who's going to win? Maybe Oliver will win. No doubt in a couple of years he's going to be smashing us out of the park on this. Couldn't help but get a clip. It's such a cool ride. You've got to prepare yourself for the Zerg scene. That's where you get all the mega, mega points. Done it! We maxed out the score. So the top tip on this is to shoot when the scene when uh, Zerg is in his little spaceship. It's the target right at the bottom of his spaceship. So just keep shooting that. Get two hits on it. And you get 100,000. So just keep doing that until you wrap up all the way up to 9999999999. Then once you've got a max score, you can concentrate on spinning. <laughs> Right guys, 
that's going to call it for today. So I've had a wonderful day as the sun sets on Magic Kingdom. We've done so much today ride-wise. Um, obviously you've seen like, all the rides we've got and the queues have been really good today. Um, despite sort of a, a later start, it just shows that you can get a lot done if you just get stuck in. And We've had plenty of breaks though, haven't we Oliver? Plenty of breaks. Lots of biscuit breaks. Lots of biscuit breaks. So yeah, we're happy. So we've got to walk back to the front of the park. We've got to walk to the uh, Contemporary and get the bus to Springs. Um, see if we grab a bite from Blaze Pizzas. Hopefully we'll fall asleep and then yeah. get some pizza, maybe a couple from Summer, summer House on the Lake. We'll see how we get on, we but go. we're going to end the video here just because it's getting dark and uh, we're going to chill. So thank you so much for watching. We're, tomorrow we've got Rainforest Cafe for breakfast and Animal Kingdom. So that's going to be exciting. Excited. Menu looks really good. Yeah, I can't wait. So thank you so much for watching. Bye. We say bye, Oliver. <laughs> Too hyper. No, not happening. Ready for bed. Ready for bed. But yeah, thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next video.